Good day everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a bar graph in PowerPoint. So to do this, firstly, for example, I want to create a bar graph of the total profit we made in the year 2015 to 2021. Let's just use that as an example in this tutorial. So to create a bar graph, the first thing for you to do is to open your PowerPoint. When you're done opening your PowerPoint, the next thing for you to do is to click on Insert. Then when you're clicking on Insert, you come down here and you see this chart right here. So click on it. Then it will bring out this dialog box, which is the one right here. So you can click on the column. Then, as you can see right here, you can just select any column of your choice so we'll be using the first one so when don't click on okay so right now here is the column here is the chart here are some other places you can input the figure so let's now get started with i want to create the total amount of profit we made in the year 2015 to 2021 so the next thing for you to do right here you can just come here let's name it as profit of the year 2015 to 2021 so when done with this the next thing for you to come down the next the next thing for you to do is to come down here so let me move this as you can see here is a category here is a category which is this one right here then here is the series one two three here is the series series which is this one here as you can see yeah the series so the next thing for you to do is start it's for us to start inserting the those figures to it. So where we have the category, I can then enter this one, which is the year. I'll use this one as the year, and I'll use this one as the total amount we made for the year. So let's just start, get started. So I'll just say 2015. So as I'm entering this right here, it will be changing down here. So let's say 2016. Just double click on it, then you enter your figure or where or tests 2016, then 2017, 2017, 2018. So when we get here, you can see they don't have any other thing right here. You can come down here yourself and enter and input your test in it. To create a new column right here as you can see 2019 then 2020 2020 so i can still scroll down and add one more which is 2021 all right so here are the column which i've just added to it as you can see the series which are this one right here so Let's move to the next one. Then the profit we made in those year. So I can just cancel all this right here. Then I can enter profits. Profits. So I can delete all the tests right here. I don't need this. I can delete all those data right here because I don't need it. Delete. So when done with that, the next thing for you to do is to enter the profit in the year. So let's say in the year 2015, we made $500. Let me just add it. Then in the year 2016, we made $10,000. In 
in the year 2017 we made fifteen thousand dollars just enter your data to it So 2018, 16,000. Twenty nineteen, eighteen thousand. So twenty twenty, because of the pandemic, we just use as example that the sales go down, so we made just twelve thousand dollars profit. So twenty twenty one so far made. $19,000 done so let me delete the column since we don't need this right click then delete as you can see I'll delete those ones so when done with this and then you can close it if you want as you can see it has been closed so right as you can see here are those figures i enter here are those that as i enter so as you can see there are a lot of editing which you can do right here so before i get started as you can see this click here to hard test i should have just delete all this right here but nothing bad, you can just come to this slide, which this slide here, then you can change the layout to blank. So the click here to access will just leave the, will, will not be there anymore. So we end up with this as you can see. Here's the profit for the year 2015 to 2021. And here are the profit, here are the data right here. So we end on with this. You can change your design to any design of your choice. We are done with the graph. So you can just change your design to any design of your choice. Just click on the graph, then click on then click on design. So as you can see, yeah, you can change the color to any color of your choice. There are different color. So you can come here also to change the graph design, as you can see. There are different design right here which you can choose from. As you can see, you can select any one of your choice. Just select the design that fits. So I'll be using this. As you can see. So also you can also come down here, just click on your graph, as you can see. Audio graph has been highlighted. Then you right click on it to add data label. As you can see. So right now the total input is showing you 500, 10,000, 15,000, and also it has it at the left side of the screen. Okay. Also, you can also add the text box for it to show that okay, this one right here is the money in dollars so you can just click on inside there you draw your text box then you draw your text box and draw it anyhow you want it so here's your center amount the color to it if you want so right now i've just finished creating a bar chart so that's how to do this hope this video help please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel see you in the next video